What's going on guys? Adam Snyder here with the Homemade Entrepreneur back with another video. This one I want to cover how much does YouTube pay for 1000 views? A lot of people have been asking me how much do they pay? How much, how many views do I need to get to make a thousand, five thousand or even ten thousand dollars per month? What do I need and how do I get there? I'm going to show you that right now. So the first thing that I want to answer is this particular video I am only going to talk about getting paid from YouTube themselves. So not affiliate marketing, not sponsored videos, nothing like that. Okay. All from YouTube and Google ads. That is it. So how do you get paid and how much do you get paid? Well, first off, your payment depends on your audience. And you're probably thinking, well, yeah, duh, that's pretty clear. Well, let me explain what I mean by this. Okay, because it's not as clear as you may think. For example, somebody like PewDiePie, who has 62 million subscribers, he gets a lot of views. So the one that he did yesterday, that he tied entitled, hmm, uh, keeps going. But that one, 3.7 million views. How much would he have got paid? Now, here's what you need to understand. Honestly, I don't know if PewDiePie even gets paid from uh, YouTube ads anymore. I know he used to. I don't know if he still does. If he were, were to get paid with 3.7 million views with that title, who's going to advertise? Okay. Who, who Who's going to likely advertise on his channel? Now, it's going to be a very small market. It's probably not going to be a lot of, there's not going to be a lot of money there. So what he's going to get paid for a thousand views might be something more in line with maybe a dollar or less. Okay. Not a lot of money. If you're looking at per 1000 views, but when you got 3.7 million views, it really adds up. Somebody like Jake Paul, who does a lot of videos, is talking about slime, Walmart, yodeling, Walmart again. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, he's talking about some maybe game stuff. Uh, so anyway, he does more vlogs. And because of that, he's probably getting paid a little bit more. Now he's probably getting paid between maybe two to three dollars per 1000 views. Still not a huge number, but it's still, it's not small when you consider, uh, something he did 10 hours ago made, got uh, 1.2 million views. So it really does add up. Somebody like Casey Neistat who does vlogs, but here's the thing you gotta understand is he does vlogs, but he also does reviews. So this one, the, the mini boosted board. People that are selling skateboards will probably advertise on his channel. Uh, people that do sporting goods, uh, you know, sports, different things, some business stuff, they could advertise on his channel. And because that, he's probably getting paid between maybe four to, I don't know, four to five, four to six dollars. So not bad. Let me give you another example. Uh, Marquez or Marquise Brownlee, uh, he does a lot of, well, he does all tech reviews. Okay, quality tech videos. So you look at some of his boosted board, Pixel 3, uh, Red iPhone 8 unboxing. All these things are products. So who do you think is going to promote on his channel? Uh, whoever made the boosted board or the Google Pixel 3 or even the, the iPhone 8. So Apple is going to promote on his channel and Apple promotes a lot. So if you target the big companies, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this in a second. But if you target those bigger companies, the people that are have more advertising uh, dollars to spend, you're probably going to make a little bit more. Okay. So when I say your payment depends on your audience, it really does. And not only that, if his audience is all from the United States, it's going to be higher. If let's say PewDiePie, his audience is all from, let's say Australia or, you know, Germany or Russia or something, wherever, not the United States, it's probably going to be less. Okay. The United States does have the most advertising uh, being spent on it. Uh, after that, I think uh, there's Australia, there is uh, Switzerland, there's Sweden, there's the Netherlands, there's the United Kingdom, there's Canada. Okay, they're all up there, but they're, they, again, the United States is kind of the top. So, in, in a second, I'm going to give you some tips to increase your CPM. If you don't know what CPM means, if you don't know what it means, it means cost per mil. Um, so that is technically a thousand views. And I'm gonna show you how to increase it. Not necessarily how to get paid more. For example, you know, increasing your CPM will give you a higher income, but I'm not gonna tell you, okay, go and 
create a viral video. Obviously, that's common sense. But what are so what are my best paying channels? My best paying channels. One is my business. Uh, so this one right here, my home and entrepreneur channel. I get paid over ten dollars per one thousand views. So I get paid a little bit more than a penny per view, which is great. Uh, so business and finance does extremely well for me. Uh, health does pretty good. Credit and debt repair is excellent. Uh, home construction and remodels. Again, that's another one. Um, Zillow is always advertising. Um, was the other one? Redfin or, you know, there's a bunch of other real estate sites out there. Um, SEO and web design. Uh, one of the ones that is promoting like crazy right now, uh, or SEO and web design or web development. Uh, ClickFunnels is going. Uh, you got SEM Rush is always going. Uh, Wix is always promoting. So there's always stuff out there that are promoting. So these are some great paying uh, niches to get into. Okay. So let me give you some tips to increase your CPM. Tip number one to promote your videos on high paying channels. You're probably thinking, well, or, or, or in high paying countries. You're probably thinking, well, okay, how exactly do I do that? So let me. Let me show you what I do. So let's say this is my video. I just went to my uh, went to my dashboard, and you click on edit your video. You scroll down, and it'll say promote. You click on that. Let's say I want it to be five dollars a day. Great. Then when it says everybody, I'm gonna say let me choose who sees my ad. So worldwide, it goes to United States and Canada. Maybe I don't want to promote to Canada. Maybe I don't want to promote in the United States. So what I do. Maybe I'll type in Australia. Maybe I'll type in Switzerland. Maybe I'll type in Germany. Okay, I'm gonna type in all these, okay? I'm just gonna type in a bunch and I want to only advertise in those countries. Now, when I go to the next step and the next step, one of the things I can do is I can also choose my audience based on their language. So I only wanna to advertise to people that speak English in these locations. The benefit of doing this exact thing is you can target people right here and it's gonna slowly increase your CPM. Now again, I don't do this on every single one of my videos. Okay, there's a few videos about every single month that I will do this on. And the reason I do it is because I know those videos right there have an already high CPM. Okay, so I know based on just those videos alone, I'll be able to make $10, but maybe I want to increase it a little bit more. So I'll promote to just people inside the United States. Just promote to people in Australia. And by promoting to high paying countries, what happens is now you start to establish a bigger audience over there. And you have the big audience here in the United States or Canada or the UK or wherever. And so as you have a bigger audience in the more, the more expensive, the higher paying countries, you have less in Mexico and, and India and the Philippines and, and you know Africa and those countries, what happens is you bring up your entire CPM. And by doing this simple thing, you know, a few times a month, it really helps to increase your CPM throughout the month and across your entire channel. So that is one way you can increase your CPM. There is another way that works just as well. Uh, this is to create videos around high paying keywords. Remember when I talked about uh, Marquez Brownlee, he, he's creating videos on the Pixel 3 on the red iPhone 8. These are going to be high paying keywords because they're selling a product. When you do a review, no matter what the review is on, it is probably going to be a higher paying keyword than just doing a vlog like uh, Jake Paul or Logan Paul. Okay, so keep that in mind. But how do you find these high paying keywords? Here's the trick. If you go into your Google AdWords account, yes, you do need an Ad AdWords account. So if you go in, so these are the words I typed in. Okay, credit cards, credit repair, best low, interest credit cards, zero interest credit, bad credit cards. Okay, that's what I typed in. But look here at the suggested bid. Now this is just a suggested bid, but this is they can be fairly close. So look right here, credit repair, the competition is high. And what this means by it's high means there's a lot of people advertising for this particular keyword. If you go and find one that's medium or even low, uh, there's probably interest-free balance transfer credit card has medium. Uh, there's a medium amount of people competing for that exact keyword, but the suggested bid is $34 with YouTube. You get about half of that. So pretty much just cut that in half. Say you get $17 or 
uh, uh, CPM. So if you get a thousand views on that video and you're targeting, let's say you're targeting uh, credit repair, you're going to make about ten, eleven dollars. Okay, half of that number. So you target credit repair. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of people advertising for it. So you will get roughly half. Okay, that is how it works, and that's one of the ways that I do it. In order, I just create videos around high-paying keywords, and not every single video, but every once in a while, I'll do this to increase my CPM. So let me know. Hit that thumbs up button if you're learning stuff in this video, because it doesn't take a genius, doesn't take a, a marketing expert to figure this stuff out. It's all about targeting the right audience, okay, at the right time. If I start creating a, a video on the the iPhone 20, is it going to be a, a hot selling? Or, you know, a big ticket thing right now in 2018? No, because we're only on iPhone 10. We still got 10 more to go to reach the iPhone 20. So is that going to be a good video to create? No. Would the next best video to create, would it be the, you know, iPhone 11 rumors? Would it be the, the iPad, you know, four or five um, rumors? Would those be good videos to create? Maybe if I had some rumors to, you know, put out there, okay? But what I'm telling you is to first target an audience, target the exact audience you want to target. If it's people in credit repair, do it. It doesn't take a lot to increase your CPM. Again, if you want to get paid and you are only getting a few thousand views on your YouTube channel per month, that's not a big deal. You could still make $30, $50, $100, but it really depends on what you're targeting, who your target audience is, what countries they're from, and if you're doing anything extra after that. Now for the last tip that I have for you, okay? So again, if you've been learning stuff, hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. I put out videos every single day to bring you the most and the best content. So the last tip I have for you is to create a bunch of videos. Don't only talk about the iPhones because then Apple's gonna be promoting you know, on your videos. But are they going to be the only ones? Who knows? Anyone that's targeting Apple is going to be seen from your videos. Now, target Apple. Target Samsung. Because Apple creates only certain products. If someone's going to, pro, uh, going to go and promote on a video that's talking about an Apple product, chances are they're going to promote something on Samsung, on Google, on a video about Amazon, whatever, whatever it is, something on tech. So, talking about tech, that's great. Put up a bunch of videos on tech, but also go and talk about something that aligns with your, your, you know, kind of your core demographic, your core audience, but something that's a little bit different. Let me give an example because you're probably thinking, well, you know, what, what is, what kinds of, uh, kind of aligns itself with my core audience? Well, my core audience right here on the Homemade Entrepreneur channel is we're talking about entrepreneurship, making money online, working from home. That's it. Now, how could I kind of tie into that? but also reach out and expand. So what I did is I talked about um, the best ways to, to lower credit card debt or something like that. And I gave a bunch of different ways. Now, this is still one of my highest paying videos uh, in terms of CPM. But what I did was I talked about why I tried to lower my, my credit card debt and what, what are the ways you can go about building your business, but at the same time, keeping your debt down. What can you do? So credit consolidations, okay, getting new credit cards, paying them off, using them and then paying them off, keeping your, your debt to income, debt to credit ratios all low. So there's a bunch of different things I talked about, but I tied it all into what I talk about on my channel the majority of time, making money online, working from home, and entrepreneurship. So that's one thing you can do to kind of stay in line with and, and target your core audience but at the same time, give them value outside of just the regular, this is how you make money online, okay? So that's something you can do and think about that. Come up with different ways to not only expand, but expand in the right direction. So I'm talking about entrepreneurship. Okay, great, it's over here. And I wanna expand this way, but at the same time, I don't wanna get so big and so far outside of entrepreneurship that it doesn't make sense to my core audience. You always wanna think about who is your core demographic, who is your audience, and how can, Whatever content you're creating, how can it benefit them? And so that's exactly what I did. All right, so the last thing that I wanna show you is, let's say you wanna make $1,000 every single month and you're getting paid $5 for your CPM, your 1,000 views. So what that means is take 1,000, 
uh, that's a thousand dollars. You can divide that by five dollars, which equals two hundred, and then you're going to multiply that by a thousand views. So you need two hundred thousand views every single month at five dollars CPM in order to reach one thousand dollars every single month. Now let's look at another, another number. Let's say you want to make fifteen hundred dollars, or let's say you only want to make a thousand dollars, but you're getting paid you know eight dollars CPM. So that's stuff about business and maybe tech review, stuff like that. So thousand dollars, okay, and you're gonna get paid eight dollars. So we can divide that by eight. So 125 times that by thousand equals 125,000 views per month will get you a thousand dollars every single month at eight dollar CPM. So that's what I want to show you is it's really all about the math. Once you understand the math, once you have an average CPM, makes it very easy to figure out how many views you need to reach your goal. So again, like I was saying, that's exactly what you need to do to figure out how much YouTube pays you for 1,000 views. Like I said earlier in this video, you can make a lot more money. YouTube ads are my pretty much my smallest uh, uh, income source for getting paid through YouTube. My biggest one is all through affiliate marketing. I make the majority of my money across multiple businesses with affiliate marketing. YouTube ads is a very small, small amount. Okay. Do, does it still, you know, help out my business? Yeah. But if it all went away, would it, would it affect me in any way? Not really. It wouldn't be a big change. So what I want you to understand is this video was all about just YouTube ads, nothing else. Cause you can honestly make more money with affiliate marketing, but is everybody going to do it? No. The easiest thing to do is just, uh, you know, turn on and enable monetization once you get to those 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. But once you do that, okay, that little bit that's coming in, those extra $200, $500, $2,000 a month, it's really going to help you out in the long run, okay? So if you guys have any questions on how much does YouTube pay for 1,000 views or, again, any questions on how to increase your CPM, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help you out any way I can. Again, all I can do is give you my past experiences and what I'm currently doing to increase my CPM and make more money on YouTube, but I'd be happy to share that with you. So again, comment below if you have any questions, hit that thumbs up button if you like today's video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you guys on the next video.